Hello friends, welcome back to Momentum Stocks. In this video, we are going to discuss one strong and one weak stock on tomorrow's session that is Monday, February 19th, 2024. Okay. Coming to our previous video friends. In the previous video, we have discussed about inverted head and shoulders on feb 12 2024 and i said there are learnings inside coming to that video we discussed in that video you can go watch the video that bajar okay on 12th is what it started here and it ended here now this is a momentum of 7 7 7700 to 8400 now if i pull up any call option in this particular so you will see more than 100 percent rise okay no second thought about it you can do your research and comment if there is no 100 percent rise on this coming to weakness we saw we said we discussed about weakness in hdfc bank we had a head and shoulder pattern here you can see this head and shoulder this is your left shoulder sorry head and right shoulder breakdown followed by downward momentum then there was a proper angle like this okay and it gave a guess day and then here there was a double bottom and it continued to journey upwards so target met on both buy and sell stock on the next day itself perfect analysis you can go ahead and watch all the reasons that we discussed about a Bajaj Auto and also HDFC in the previous video is looking something like this okay coming to the analysis for nifty bank nifty nifty bank nifty also we discussed about a inverted head and shoulder okay nifty, we saw that inverted head and shoulder somewhere here this was your left shoulder this was your head this was your right shoulder this was the breakout next day itself straight here opening was here okay then it could not sustain this kind of opening so it came back hit the stop losses of this area and then became sideways next day it started here and straight upward momentum so the result of this particular head and shoulder started here now important point here is friends this is the same situation that was seen in Bajaj Auto okay remember i told you that this bottom that it made has kicked out the buyers who are standing here here and here okay all these buyers are kicked out and then there was a straight forward momentum like this this was good five six percent momentum calls have given 500 percent rise friends okay similar thing happened here the same kicking happened till here now all the buyers are kicked out from here it started its journey up till this area similar thing in bank nifty also on 9th we have seen this particular shoulder which is inverted left shoulder head and right shoulder upward momentum breakout and then everyone was kicked out till here if you zoom out even these people were kicked out and then it continued its journey upwards straight till this area now let's do some important analysis here what do i see see this was a very good momentum upwards and then it fell down any reason that you can tell me why it fell down if you are not able to make out look at this carefully now okay i am moving this from five minutes to one hour a bigger chart now if i am drawing particular trend line like this okay look at this trend line okay thinking of this one in this trend line you can see why there was a clear cut rejection from top that came up on that day now i'll give you one more reason look at this also carefully this was the top that it made on december 29th friends from the top till the bottom if i'm drawing a fibo you know that it has taken rejection from exact 38.2 levels can you beat this maybe not 
this was the exact reason why there were two reasons for it to fall from there now what do we see now now if i'm moving back to five minutes here there is a clear trend line breakdown okay like this okay, this is a breakdown followed by a retest okay now if i'm also going to one minute here okay from this top if i'm drawing a fibo till the bottom that it made this was the bottom, okay at 50 percent it could not sustain it took its rejection from 61.8 and continued to go down we also saw a left shoulder a head a right shoulder a kick out of these people and then again a fall good possibility that it will go ahead and fall continue fall will continue here now how will we start trading for that we will go ahead and take out all this information and we'll draw a fibo from the recent bottom here to the recent top here and you see that the rejection has not even 23.6 area we are in up trend here are we going to take big trades for downside the answer is no we will wait for at least for it to come to 23.6 levels that's where we can go for buying okay what is the level there that is 46393 that area is what we can buy best place what i would consider for buy would be 50 percent i don't know whether it will come till there but this would be the best place why because here we see proper zone like this if this zone comes you will see a uh, this entire area it has taken a breakout here so when it comes here this zone should act like a support once this area acts like a support it will continue to go further upwards friends that's what we see in bank nifty coming to our buy and sell stock one more thing i'm going to discuss two more stocks which were requests from our subscribers not suggestions that are coming up from my analysis okay coming to first buy in tomorrow's trading session i am looking at alliance as a strong stock friends why from here if you look at it it is in buy trend or up trend okay now if i am drawing a fibo from the recent bottom which is here till the recent top which is here okay the wrong tool chosen there it starts from the recent bottom to the recent top okay you have seen it's come to exactly 38.2 levels and where that has also given a nice little strong upward candle this candle was formed in spite of nifty and bank nifty being weak towards the end of the day okay it has given a very good upward candle second reason if i'm simply drawing this area like this you will see this is a breakout and the break already been sustained reason number three see look at this this is a proper channel okay and if i'm drawing this like this you will see what is this particular pattern just put it in the comment so that i can understand what all parts you are understanding with all these reasons is what we are going to go long on and talking about weak stock we see weakness in itc see friends this stock itself if i'm zooming back it is in downtrend okay now if i'm taking a fibo from the recent top which is here okay to the recent bottom here we have seen it has taken its rejection from 38.2 okay now the second rejection that it can take is from 23.6 which is somewhere here so see for it has given a double top pattern here at 38.2 a breakdown and a fall again a retracement a fall again there is a retracement towards end of the day now if i am drawing this particular trend line like this okay you have seen this is the breakdown retest again fall can happen what would be the first target first target would be somewhere here second target would be your bottom friends that's how we would be trading in itc i hope you liked the video for more such videos do hit the subscribe button also hit the like button if you are liking the analysis thanks for watching oh sorry i also wanted to discuss about two stocks fss oracle finance now see here in this stock friends if i am moving to 
one day time frame or even it is given good information here see it has been going up continuously friends when will we take exits so see we can book profits at any of these tops if we are at tops now there are few things that we notice here is like the same if i am drawing a trend line like this this is a bear angle but really does it will it fall straight down the answer is no no it depends on where the entry has been taken we can go ahead and enter in the stock at these levels what are the levels the levels are 7613 7380 how do we keep stop losses in this case friends i would suggest that one should go to 15 minutes time frame and choose an indicator called ema cross okay so that's the indicator and as soon as you see a cross like this okay that's where you can go ahead and take full exit or you can exit at the tops friends whenever it gives you a next high that's where you can go ahead and take or book profits that's what in ofs is second stock that we are going to discuss is map my india and this what do we see is see if i am looking at it on a five minute or say let's you can see that it has started here it has gone up now finally what it has done it has given a break out like this and a retest attempt has been done now what do we also see from the recent bottom okay on this i am assuming that people would have stayed in the stock since long time and with that analysis if we are doing it has already come to 38.2 where it has also given you a double bottom pattern like this and a breakout also now what is important we have a neckline breakout here this neckline breakout will be somewhere at 1920 levels 1920 levels as soon as this level is crossed you will see good momentum coming upside with 38.2 double bottom and neckline breakout that's when we can go long first target would be 2085 next target would be 2289 okay 2263 somewhere in that range and then it can continue going upwards friends okay, i hope you like the video if you did do subscribe to the channel also hit the like button if you are liking the analysis thanks for watching and wish you a profitable tomorrow